YouTube, what up? Right now we got Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 Episode 2 trailer, man. Uh, I, I just got done watching the first episode like a couple minutes ago. And it was a solid episode. You know, at first I was afraid uh, that they was going to be showing a lot. Well, it was a lot of clips that was already put out before the first episode aired. And I was kind of scared that it was spoiled, you know what I'm saying, as far as the episode. But it still had a lot of stuff in there that we didn't know and that was new to us watchers. And um, Junior, he's, he got the fuck up out of there quick. And uh, it kind of makes sense because I kind of thought they was going to try to build it up a little bit, try to add like a dynamic between the new generation and the old generation with Angela and Ghost and then Junior with Tariq. But Tariq said, fuck that shit, I'm finna kill you now. And I I'm actually glad, you know what I'm saying, it shows the difference between uh, Ghost and Tariq. Because what Ghost always used to say, I ain't killing no cops, you know what I'm saying? So that's what he used to do, that's what he stood on, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, he was, yeah, uh, uh, what's, what's up, Paz? She tried to tell that man. And I don't, I don't, I don't feel sorry for her because I, didn't, I never liked her. Even in the original series, I didn't like her, so I don't give a fuck about Paz. Fuck her. I don't, she, she, fuck her. I don't care. Uh, but she's alone now. She's gonna be desperate. So now she linked up with Detective. I don't know his name yet. So y'all forgive me. I will figure out his name. But he's gonna come into play now. And obviously, he lost somebody important to him. So that's gonna be his motivation to take down Tariq St. Patrick. Drew. Drew's on fucking demon time. I mean, shit. He, he ain't want to take Diana to the hospital. Soon as uh, <laughs> soon as Diana called him, uh, Drew like, man, smother her with a pillow right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was on demon time all, uh, all episodes. Tariq could have finished him off, but I feel like that was plot armor because why would you want to kill one of the main enemies season one? I mean, episode one. So, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of plot armor. Uh, Effie. And Kane, I'm so sick of that shit. Like, obviously, Effie still cares about Tariq. But, bro, I don't... What do y'all like about Effie so fucking much besides she's trying to put her way through school? That's the only thing I like about her. But besides that, bro, she a fucking snake. She always putting her lips on some, on some motherfucking body like she bougie. You know what I'm saying? And I always come with this card. Uh, what she say? What she say? Uh, well, I never had... What she tell Kane in the car? Well, I had no, I'm sorry. I just never had anybody look out for me. Bitch, shut up. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't. I'm done. And if any, if any of y'all niggas still feeling sorry for her because she fine, boy, you a fucking sucker, man. I'm tired of hearing that bullshit she always saying. I just had, I just never had anybody look out for me. I just got to do all this shit on my own. Ooh. Stop talking about it. Jesus. Uh, Diana. I feel like she's going to have Therese's baby. And obviously she already kind of turned. And um, I'm glad that Monet is alive. And it's going to be very interesting when Kane and Monet find out the truth. It's going to be great. But it's going to take some time. We got to let it cook a little bit. But let me go ahead and get into the, uh, the trailer itself. It was a great episode. I just wanted to highlight the major things in mind. Uh, also, when Braden was trying to save his sister, Becca, so he came through in the clutch, you know what I'm saying? Because he ain't hopping the, hop the car at first. My nigga had to come with a plan, you know what I'm saying? But let's get it. Says you killed Agent Young. I'm going to put you where you belong. See, he, he don't have the proof. He doesn't have proof, you know. That's, and like I said, Tariq made an excellent point. That's him, you know, kind of having some experience. The feds never roll along. And that was uh, Detective Young's despise. I don't know what the fuck. He he was green. He just got in a DEA apartment. They just shut down. Everybody, everybody is telling you, fam, let the shit go. Let it go. Have a career. What did Detective uh, Hernandez, I think that's her name, uh, uh, she always be talking like, you know what I'm saying? Always talking with her tongue and shit. She even said, let it go. Have a career. Leave them niggas alone. He got killed, bro. Listen. I could use your help. Nobody would have to know. What if I brought you more business? I'll give you 24 hours. 
With Noma, you're either in or you're out with a bullet. The game ain't what it used to be. It's different now. You're out your league. Question is, who shot me? It wasn't me. Oh, so they finna link up. I'm saying they finna link up. So okay, 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 okay. Well, they might not let it cook because us as watchers, we know the truth. So it's gonna be very frustrating if if Monet and Tariq was to be going back and forth, back and forth, and we know and we know damn well all they gotta do is have a conversation. So I'm glad they that they doing that this next episode. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Now. I will be kind of interested on seeing how Effie's able to pull the strings, like as far as make moves happen, as far as getting money, because she's always just been surviving, and she's always been a part of something. Well, she still is a part of something, but now she's orchestrating something. So I'm interested on seeing that, but I really don't give a damn about her storyline. I don't give a fuck about Effie. Nobody really, uh, <laughs> uh, nobody really looks out for me. I do this all on my own. My brother's dead. You know, I don't give a damn, bro. I don't. I don't, man. Uh, I know some of y'all people, I know some of y'all motherfuckers like her, but I don't. And this was the most vulnerable that we have ever seen, Oma. Like, she steady yelling. She yelling damn near every scene. She yelling damn near every, every, every time she was talking, she was yelling. And then, you know, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um, I can't think of it. I, 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 the right hand man. <laughs> try to pull up, try to put a little bit of flavor on that holding on to her hand. She smacked the fuck at that man, and uh, her her daughter. And I, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting her name. You know, I'm, I'm bad with names, even in real life. I'm bad with names. I just know faces. She's an absolute brat, but that's what you expect. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be very interesting with her storyline as well. That's gonna die. Okay, so yeah, so yeah. He so he, cause to, why would Tariq withhold any information from Monet? So she's gonna have to. So she's gonna tell. So Tariq's gonna tell Monet like, look, bro. He gonna tell her everything straight out. And I, and I, and I love I love this dynamic duo, man. The, the, these two are my niggas. They my niggas. Man, that was a good. That was a, that was a great way to uh, to start the season off. I can't wait for next Friday. Uh, if y'all like the video, man, like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm about to drop. I'm about to drop my. Uh, I'm about to drop my live performance music video, so I'm, I'm gonna line it up on the same time. You know what I'm saying? So we all get done watching this, y'all go support me on my new. Uh, on my new music video. I'm gonna fuck with y'all, man. I'm out of here.